must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flarkin, blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Can't wait for Star Pants to see what I do to the weapon system. It's g Hey! <laughs> Gamora! Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay, fine then. Just take care. I'm doing just that. Yeah, right. I'll let you go back to, uh... Studying the blade. Watch it, Peter! You could fall on my sword if you're not careful. What do you think, bud? Now that Contraxi is gone, what's gonna be the new- What are you working on, Rocket? Uh, just a little upgrade for the Milano's weapon systems. I told you I'd put that quarantine zone tech to good use if you hit it from Nova Corps. Cool. How soon can we try it out? Uh, depends on how long you're gonna stand there bothering me. You want something? I hope you ain't just browsing. I could really use a flark and drink right now. Shoo, shoo, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? <laughs> Shoo, flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. 
Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. Just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Did you? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, Lethal Legion. Cool merc name. I used to run with the Ravagers myself. We are far superior to you. Ravagers, Terran scum. The Lethal Legion is composed of the best warriors the universe has ever seen. And to me. Hey, look. I get it. You're the best of the best. You're the captain of a super elite team. I'm the captain of a... elite team. Some of us are super elite. You are nothing like me. I am Glory of the Kree Empire. My birthright alone supersedes any sense of worth you foolishly believe you possess. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give it your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. <laughs> your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Possible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us. Money did 
did she offer these guys? Too much, because they ain't gonna survive this. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just keep watching. Feels kinda good to have bounty hunters after us. Keep her making a name for herself, right? Unlike you, I have done my research. Need a kill. Send an IOU to Lady H? I ain't paying that psycho a single unit! Tune up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my. Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. 
We're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. If you pick Creekwill, I'm gonna gnaw your ears off. How may we assist you? Quill, pick something already! After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. Just pick something, Peter. Congratulations, Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star Lord. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, oh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Oh, please see your celestial body or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah, maybe it won't work. But <laughs> Not look today. at this, Scott. It's hilarious. Nope. Finally. In a few words, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. Really? Did you have to? All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? We are aware of the current threat, but, but can devote no, no resources toward fighting it. I know. Let's join the Corps and rob him. I know. Let's join the Corps and rob him. How about future crime? Large and brute. Thank you for being proactive. However, However the, the galaxy's galaxy. impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. Only, Only one, one application per cycle is permitted, and you, you cannot, cannot resume a canceled application. Groot. Groot wants you to pick World Mind. Scroll down! The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Hey, Wolberry, got any ideas? This menu again? <gasps> Scroll back up! I think I saw someone interesting. Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Who even cares? Nova Prime's identity is confidential, and communication with them is forbidden until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Perhaps we should try another menu. We, we are, are sad to inform you that Denarian Carlos is currently missing and is assumed, assumed dead. dead. Hey, isn't this that Buckethead we killed on the rock? We definitely did not murder him, and definitely did not admit in front of a Nova Corps Consul rocket. Oh, what do you mean the past crime button looks lonely? We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. 
You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise. Sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually. The world mind is a collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Look. We just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill-advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Ain't you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause. Where would you even go? Please understand that we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy, my tale. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? A millennia? Bolenia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. taken. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? For well, unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It... it is not magical. magical. But, but yes. yes! Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? 
We, we are, are pleased. pleased. You reached the same conclusion. We did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Novacore fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Jump, Quill. I know. Peter's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm good. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Really? How did you... Ugh. I'm gonna get fleas. Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. That smells great.
chance we were both the same We tried to reach the sun but we flew too high We never became one We have a ship This is our room Why is it so small Look at you Me Who Weird hair What What is it What is this How are you me. Come on, the talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Well, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. So you flew us all the way here? Yep. Without asking. Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Hey. Uh, and then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes. Good enough for me. There, let's go. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Peter! Run! Guys, don't let it get to you! Won't have to tell me twice! Take that, you ugly monster thing! 